Some parents and residents in one area near Eastwood High School speaking out against the restaurant and bar Union Draft House. That's right. This new location is slated to open at a shopping center across from the high school. KTSM 9 News reporter Tani Davis is live from East El Paso with reaction. Tani. Andy and Natasia, we just want to put into perspective how close this Union Draft House will be once open. You have Eastwood High School right behind me over here, and then you have the development area right across the street, which is what is most concerning to the parents. However, one resident that I spoke with said she actually wants more businesses to be brought into the area. Discussion over the shopping area being built across the street began when YISD Board of Trustee Mike Rosales sent out a letter to residents in the surrounding neighborhoods. In the letter, it was telling them that a union draft house was potentially going to occupy the space. He explains that he wanted parents and others in the community to be fully aware of the situation before taking any action. Is this okay? And if it's not, then we need to go forward. Because I'm not going to be against anybody that's for it, but I think the nature of the business requires that we make people aware. With a busy intersection such as this one, one parent's concern is a restaurant that also serves alcohol across the street of Eastwood High School. There's going to be more congestion because Eastwood High School is very busy, so aside with the extracurricular activities, whether it's basketball, football, volleyball, with an establishment there, you're totally changing the dynamics of the the neighborhood and the safety concerns with the school and the residents. However, another resident would like to see this restaurant open due to not having easy access to other establishments and brings more business to the area. There's not very much around us. There's no restaurants. When I used to go to school here, you had to jump in the car. You had 45 minutes to go to lunch and you had to rush. And so having a shopping center nearby with restaurants, you know, bar and grills, coffee shops, it's going to give us the opportunity to stay close to home and it just makes it very convenient. There will be a community meeting held tomorrow to discuss the growing concerns about the development of this area it will be hosted by City Council representatives Henry Rivera and Cassandra Hernandez along with Rosales reporting live from East El Paso. Tony Davis KTSM 9 News. Tani, thank you. We have an update to a story we brought to you at five after the family of El Paso legend 